Five independent directors at the Kenya Power have resigned from their roles. Denis Otieno has the details of this and other business stories in the following roundup. A notice from the power distributor announced the resignations of Adil Kawaja, Cairo Tuo, Wilson Kimutai Mugengei, Brenda Kukoi and Zipora Kering, who are said to be pursuing other careers. It is not clear what could have led to the exits, but the company has been facing various challenges over the last two years. They range from inflated bills, faulty transformers and abuse of office at managerial level. Last month, Kenya Power announced a profit warning, saying it expects its full year earnings for 2019 to drop by at least 25%. It attributed this to the impact of the COVID-19 restrictions, which has led to a major drop in industrial and commercial power demand. Elsewhere, stakeholders in the hair and beauty industry are calling for measures that will cushion the industry from collapse. Speaking during the launch of Saloon to Cosette program, Godrej Kenya CEO Rohit Venguleka says the sector has been hit hard by fears of transmission of the coronavirus. Estimates show that the industry has lost nearly 30% of its business since March this year. We are doing this so that this 25 billion shillings industry, which is the hair industry in Kenya, can re return back to normal, return back to business at the same time maintain the safety protocols outlined by the government. The program spearheaded by Extensions Hair Manufacturer Dali in Kenya targets over 10,000 salons countrywide with hygiene kits and education to aid in adherence to newly issued business operation guidelines. Personal care products manufacturer PZ Cousins has signed a deal with Rotary in Kenya to boost at least 1 million Kenyans' access to water and sanitation facilities. In the campaign dubbed Caring for Kenya, PZ Cousins says it will invest about 10 million shillings to ensure its success. And finally, over 15,000 secondary school learners without access to virtual learning opportunities are set to benefit from online learning kits. The initiative, which is a partnership between Prudential Life Assurance Kenya and the Kenya Education Fund, will also see the beneficiaries get printed revision kits. Denis Otieno, Citizen TV.